You're late. I suppose Wizard taught you how to tell time. <laughs> no bother. I'm just happy you've joined me. I'm Timbo Took, and this is the joy of painting Middle Earth, a time when we come together to paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle Earth has to offer. So, if you're ready, grab your paints and your brushes, and let's go on an adventure. Hello, and thank you for joining me on The Joy of Painting Middle-Earth. I'm Timbo Took, and today we have an exciting painting for you. As you can see, I've already prepared the canvas. I put a little acrylic gesso black on there, just in the spots I know I want to be darker in this painting. And what that's going to do, it's going to give us an undertone. Now, I've gone over that black with some green and some blue. I'm using ultramarine blue and some sap green. Okay, now our sky is going to be back here, so I've left that. And today's painting comes from an exciting part of the story. When the, the Fellowship has had a rough time of it down in the mines of Moria, and they've just escaped, and they're running down from the misty mountains, cutting through the meadow, and going into Lothlorien. That's right, it can be a scary and exciting time. But, so, that's what we're going to paint today. So let's start, let's get right into our sky. Now, as I said, I've already done a little bit of work on the canvas, but we're just gonna go into a bit of the blue and some of the titanium white. And I'm using ultramarine blue, and we're just gonna lighten that up a little bit right there on the palette, just to give us a little bit, a little bit of a blue sky, okay? Now we're going to come up and we're just going to start dropping in that sky. Just your darker tones at the very top. Don't kill all the white. I've put some liquid white, some magic white on there. And you'll see it'll, it'll give us shapes of clouds as we work it in there. You don't want to kill all your light areas. There we go. Maybe a little darker up top. The sky is always a little darker towards the edges. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna clean off the brush. Now that we've got our sky put in, there we go. Now my favorite part, cleaning the brush. There we go, we're gonna beat the Sauron out of it. Okay, now let's go in to our titanium white and we're gonna put a few clouds in the sky. We always like to have the clouds, although there's not many out today. Here we go. Just with the corner of your brush, you load it up with that titanium white. And then we're going to just tap it in. There we go, just make the clouds. Go back, get a little more white on there. Put those clouds in. Oh, it looks like we have some sheep coming to see what we're doing. That's okay. The sheep don't bother us. They like painting too. They don't know how to do it. I've never seen a sheep paint, but that would be quite something to see. Just put in our clouds here, just work those right into the canvas. Just circle them in. There we go. Now we want to soften those clouds up a bit. So we're going to take a clean dry brush. And we're just going to use the corner of the brush. We're just going to smooth out these bottom edges of the clouds. 
Just with circles. Just with circles. Oh, they want to come see what's going on. They might be my biggest art critics. Okay, so once we've softened those out a little bit, we're just gonna give that brush a clean. And then we're going to lift, just lightly lift, 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 just as the wind blows the clouds around. Now we have a little hair on the canvas. Just take the corner of your brush, pick that right off. There we go. And just soften out your sky. Just remember, don't just smash those all in and, and squish those clouds into the canvas. Just let them float to by. There we go. We're not going to spend a lot of time on the sky today because we have, we have things to get to. Okay, we're going to go, we're going to put some mountains back here. Now these are just way off in the distance. We don't need a lot of detail with them, but we're just going to use a little bit of that ivory black and we're just going to bring it down and we'll grab a bit of that titanium white, mix it in there. Just mix it right into your palette. Just pull it down even. See how it gives us that nice gray look. Now we're just going to take our knife, scrape right across the edge, and we're just going to go back here and give ourselves some mountains. As I said, these are way off in the distance. So they're not going to be too tall. We're not too worried about the details of them. Just one might come up a little higher than the others. And there we go. And don't worry, we're going to come back. Now we're just going to just scrape off the excess. And we're going to just give that shape there. And what you're doing, you're really pushing this paint into the canvas when you do this. And you just want to leave that edge right along there. There we go. Okay. Now, take our brush and we're just going to pull these mountains. Just pull them down. Just push that paint right over the canvas. This is where we can give these mountains some shape. Pull them this way or that. You never knew you could move mountains, but that's the beauty of painting. You can put mountains and move them wherever you want. Of course, if you have enough faith, you can move mountains. There we go. Just push those down into the canvas. And give yourself some shapes to those mountains as you push that paint around. And down here at the bottom, just some mist. Just some mist in the distance. We're not too worried about that. There we go. Beat the Sauron out of our brush. There we go. Oh, you know about Sauron, right? Oh, it was such a grand adventure they had to defeat him. That's one of my favorites. My grand gaffer Gamji used to tell me that story all the time. Oh, it was such an adventure. You should read about it. Okay. Now, 
we're going to go back to these mountains and we want to put a little bit of snow on them. They're way off the very tall, very large mountains. So we're going to come in and we'll pull out some of that titanium white. Just cut a row across. Now, we are just going to make some decisions here. As you come up, just lightly put some of that snow on your mountains. There we go. Don't push in too hard. You just want it to, you'll start to mix it a little too much. You don't want to do that. You want to leave some lighter spots and some darker spots. There we go. Just bring it down. Just light as a feather, just so it pulls a little bit of paint off the knife. There we are. And you see that mountain start to form. You see the shape that it takes all on its own. You give it a little bit of help. But as your knife comes across the canvas, it just decides where it's going to drop, where it's going to drop that snow. There we go. There we are, just very light, very light. Just think about the mountains and how they have sides and how the sun will hit brightly on one side, but maybe not some of the other side. There we are. Some spots are heavier with snow. Other spots you see the rock stick through. And use that knife, just bring it across and give shape to that mountain. There we go. Now, now that we have the light coming down this way, let's take a little bit of that blue, that ultramarine blue, mix it in, and don't mix it all the way in, but leave it a little bit marbled so you get some of those, there we go. So we get some different tones through there. So this is going to be our cool side of the mountain, where the shadows are. There we go. Now you see just that little bit. It gives you spots that aren't quite as warm. Those are the spots you don't want to be stuck in all night on the mountain. You don't want to be stuck in those spots that didn't see the sun at all during the day. There we go. Now, if you don't like the way it looks, just go back into your white and bring some white right over that. You can change the mountain. It's your mountain. You tell it what to do. There we go. Okay. Now, let's just soften out this bottom area. There we are just run right back up those mountains, just softening it, but remembering the shape of your mountain as you do this. There we are. Clean off our brush. <laughs> I enjoy that part. Okay. Now, We've got all this gray left here, and we want some of the mountains, the closer mountains, they're going to be covered with a bit of, a bit of grass, but it's, 
There we go. We'll mix that up. Kind of that dollish green. So, those mountains that our fellowship has come down the foothills just bring those down there we are those come right down to the meadow And just think of yourself falling down the hill as you bring it down. There we go. There we go. Now, there will be a few, few rocks and things in here. Give a little highlight there that'll separate. There we go. There's no mistakes. No mistakes. I, that's what I was taught. I was taught by a great, a great artist and also a wizard. Bob Ross the Blue. That's right, you may have heard me say he came to the Shire once a week when I was just a young hobbit and he would teach us all how to paint. There we go. Give your hills some highlights. There we are. Now that we have our mountains in the back and the foothills that we come down, we're going to start putting in some of the trees here. Now, again, this part, it's a little dark, but that's just going to be the back part of the, just in the background. So, what we're going to do is we want to give some light to come through here. So, we're just going to go into some of our titanium white. Just go in there, just load up that brush with white. And now we've already covered this with some, a mixture of blue and green. So as we go into this, you'll see those highlights start to come out. So just make somewhere that the light is pouring through. And then we come out from that. Just letting it darken up as it comes out. And as it mixes in, you'll see it bring out the other colors. There we go. This is all just background. Just background. Some of the most, most beautiful trees in the forest are in the in Lothlorien. And there used to be some of the most dangerous elves there too. But most of the elves are gone from Middle Earth now. Oh, I would love to see an elf. I met a few when I was just a young hobbit, but most of them have left. There we go. Just mix that in. 
There we are. Okay. Clean off that brush. Now, we want to put in some color back here. So we'll go maybe into some of our lemon yellow and that sap green and kind of give us a nice bright green here. Just load up that brush. Load up that brush with your paint. Now, we're just gonna come in and we're not really giving shape. We're just adding some background. There we go. And give it some variations, make some darker. Some lighter. Just don't kill it. And just let that brush bend so it gives the appearance of leaves hanging off the branches. Let whoever's gonna view your painting, let their eyes fill in most of the details. You're just giving them something to start with. And they've seen trees before, they've looked at trees, they know what they're supposed to look like, and their eyes will tell them what they're seeing. There we go. Now, we need to, um, now we put, need to put some, some tree trunks in there. So we'll mix our burnt umber with a little bit of the titanium weight. Just put that on and now we're just coming in and giving the appearance of some trunks. Just the trees that are growing in there. There we go. Just just kind of pull that right knife right across. Just draw it across. There we go. Maybe we want to make them a little lighter. Put a little light on there. So we'll just take some of that white and follow up the edge. There we go. Just let your knife do the work. As it touches the canvas, let the paint just, just come off. There we go. Just give them some highlight. There we are. Okay, now on your own, if you're doing this and you're wanting to take a little more time, you can put trees and, and think about the ways you want the branches to go, or you can just put them in and just say, oh, that's good enough. Okay. Now we're going to come back down to our field and we're going to put, start to put the field in here. We'll put a few trees back here first. So let's go back. We're going to go back and get some of our dark, that dark, dark green. Maybe put in a little bit of black there. There we go. That looks like a good one. So we'll take that, load it up on both sides, and let's, we'll put some trees off here in the back. Maybe put a little highlight in them. Now one thing we can do is load up 
some weight mixed in there and give it a little bend just to give some edge to the bottom. Just bend that up. March it down. Maybe a little yellow in there as well. There we go. Give some bushes and things on the edge of that field. Okay, now let's go to putting some grass in here. So, for the grass, we're going to go into that, into those greens. We're just going to load it up on the brush, and we're just going to come in and, and give ourselves just some hills. Just give some grass, comes down this way, there we go. And that's going to mix with some of those colors we have underneath. And that starts to give us that grassy field. And you can see some highlights in there. Just don't kill all the darks. There we go. That's why we like doing the, the black under there. It just really brings it out. But now, what if they, while they were making their escape, they have to run across to maybe um, a stream. Okay, so what we'll do, let's clean off one of our fan brushes. There we go. A little beating. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little, a little bit of our liquid white, mix it with the titanium white, so it gives us a medium sort of thickness. And now, we're going to bring our our stream in. So, say it comes from back this way. There we go. Maybe it tumbles down a rock there. And it comes in. And again, we can tumble over a rock like that. And just really just make that water as it hits the rocks, it tumbles over. And just push it into your canvas. There we go. So it's picking up. Maybe it comes and it tumbles over. Just comes right over. There we go. Now, when that water tumbles down the rock, then it really, it really splashes up and bubbles up. There we go. And then it smooths out again. There we are. Maybe there's a rock right there. 
Oh, look at that. Very good. Yes. So now we have this stream that comes right through the meadow. And it took us no time at all. That's because we did the work in the beginning to put the colors in there already. And then, you know, make some of that water rough, really rough as it hits and bubbles over rocks. There we go. And, but it's not deep, so our fellowship just jumps across it. Maybe there's a rock right there too. There we go. Now we want to fill in our grass, bring it up to the stream a little more. So we'll go back into our grassy colors and we'll bring that, that hill right down, right onto it. There we go. And so you push that water behind it. Just a matter of perspective. Oh, but maybe we want to throw a rock or two in there. We can do that. We can do that. We'll come back. Maybe give us a little bit of gray. There we go. Right here. Give us a little rocky shore. Maybe right here as well. There we go. Just put that in. Maybe give it a little Highlight on those rocks. There we are. Maybe there's. Oh, let's. Let's make this guy a little more gray. There we are. There we go. And we'll just come back. Pick up a little bit of that grass and put it right down on top of it. Giving it some highlights. Over here. There we go. Just fill in with a little bit of color there. There we go. Okay, now Lothlorien needs a little more color than that. So it's said that the leaves can be golden. We'll give ourselves some color to mix in here. There we go. As these golden don't blend it too much. The gold leaves of La Florian. The leaves of Lorian do not fall idly. 
Got one right there. Although that's just what I made. Made that one myself. So I'll show you how to do that someday. Okay. All right, so let's go just put some of this color in here as those trees, magnificent trees of Lorien stretch out from the wood. And for good measure, we'll put some more of that dark green back in there. Just so the gold is peeking through. <laughs> that never happened to Bob Ross. Okay, now we're going to call that one good for today. One thing left to do is just get a nice thin paint, roll it on to sign it. Now, if you want to go back in and you want to add more details and all of that, feel free to do so. But right now, we'll just sign away. Let everybody know it's yours. And I hope you've enjoyed painting today. And a time when our world can seem a little uncertain, painting is definitely a way to get your mind off of it. All right. I'm Tim Botuk. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye and God bless. Thank you for joining me on today's painting. I'm so happy you were with me. Now, if you'd like to continue to go on painting adventures with me, become part of my fellowship. And you do that by clicking that subscribe button below. Yes, and be sure to give it a like and a share. That would be oh so helpful. Now, we don't know how many of these seeing stones are unaccounted for. So we don't know who else is watching. I've got to go. Have a good day. <laughs>